Here to Forever on 92.3 WTTS. Good morning, Matt Pelser. And on Sunday, Death Cab for Cutie will take the Indosphere stage at the All In Music and Arts Festival for their set. And I am proud to welcome keyboardist and uh, guitarist Dave Depper. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Good to be here. So we're in this weird time, uh, I guess, playing shows before the album comes out. So how many of these new songs are you breaking out right now? Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but there are <laughs> three three songs that people have heard. And, well, we want to play everything we can that people have heard. So take what you will from that. <laughs> right on. We're digging here to forever here at WTTS. Thanks for that. Um, I know that you guys like to challenge yourselves musically. How would you say you did that in uh, making this new one? Uh, in a few different ways. Um, we kind of wrote it in a way that the band hadn't written before. Um, traditionally, Ben writes a whole bunch of demos and uh, shares them with the band. We kind of pick which ones we like and, and work on them all together. But um, for this album, for a bunch of the songs at least, um, we sort of did this round robin songwriting thing where um, during the whole pandemic, uh, each member of the band on alternating weeks would start a song. And then during each day of the week, the other band members would each get a day to work on the song and they could add or remove anything they wanted from the song at that point at the end of the at the end of the week there would be a finished track and we probably did 50 or so songs this way and, and a lot of them aren't any good but a bunch of them uh turned out really wonderfully here to here to forever is actually one of them um and so it just kind of flipped the script on 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 how songwriting works in the band i think it brought ben to some interesting places where he was given kind of like a, a largely completed completed piece of music that he then wrote lyrics and, and a melody to um and it just brought us i don't know it, it just kind of sharpened all our skill sets gave everyone some fun ownership of the record and and uh results in a really strong set of songs Man. and other ways uh we worked with the producer we'd never worked with before john congleton who is kind of uh one of our favorite guys in the industry and is just known for kind of bold sonic choices and and really pushed us to kind of make a record like we've never made before. And and I think he did it. Well, Asphalt Meadows comes out in just a couple of weeks. And one thing that I've always wanted to ask if I ever got the chance to talk to somebody from Death Cab for Cutie is <laughs> your 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 auto-tune policy. I've heard you're all strictly against using it under any circumstances. Is that still the case? <laughs> I've never heard that policy. No? Um, okay, I heard I'm... that a while back. Interesting. I mean, I don't believe we... I've never witnessed it being used, uh, but I, I didn't know it was the official policy of the band. It might predate my membership. <laughs> <laughs> it could, it could very well be. I think it, yeah, I think I may have heard this pre 2015. So, um, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's down the line somewhere. Well, anyway, Dave Depper keyboards and guitars for death cap for cutie. Their set starts at nine 15 Sunday night on the Indosphere stage at the Indiana state fairgrounds for the all in music and arts festival. Dave, thanks so much for your time, man. Can't wait. Yeah, looking forward to it, man. Always good to be an indie.